So the very first open beta of nothing OS 4 based on Android 16 is finally here. Now we were really excited to test out nothing OS 4 here in our office, but we noticed that a lot of the features that were promised in the initial, you know, nothing OS 4 launch video, they're currently missing. It's the first open beta, so we'll cut them some slack. But in this video, I'm gonna be highlighting all that we saw new with nothing OS 4 and all that's missing, so stay tuned with me. But here's a friendly word of advice, don't install this open beta on your primary device because, you know, there could be bugs that you will have problems problems with. So I would suggest that wait for the stable release. In any case, we've done it for you. So watch the video to know what the changes are. All right, let's take a closer look at Nothing OS 4.0. And if you're watching me for the first time, I'm Ashar. This is Track and Tech English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Now let's start off by talking about the visual changes that we noticed and spoiler alert, that's not a lot to see here. The first immediate change that we noticed are the two new clocks in the lock screen. They look very modern, they look futuristic and very sharp as well. But unfortunately, the readability, in my opinion, is not that great, especially if you have them on in the always on display, the readability goes even more for a toss. Now, once you unlock the screen, of course, you get your familiar home screen with widgets available, but uh, slide down and you will see that the quick settings you know, design has changed slightly. It's now a flatter look, very minimal, very clean, something that a lot of people might not like, but I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Another new addition to the UI is an extra dark mode. Now, the difference between the dark mode and the extra dark mode is that the dark mode is like this dark gray color and not entirely black, but the extra dark mode is quite literally black, if you ask me. It'll definitely conserve more battery life, but nothing also says that it is comfortable for the eyes, and I completely agree. In fact, it feels like the extra dark mode is actually nothing's response to consumer feedback saying, okay, fine, the dark mode doesn't look that dark at all. So yeah, your prayers have been answered. One of the bold visual identities of nothing are definitely the widgets that are available, and you can run essential apps as widgets on the home screen. Nothing users are already aware of that. In fact, a lot of nothing users have already created essential apps as widgets. I'll talk about that in a bit as well. But if you want to run essential apps as widgets. On the phone 3, you can run six at a time, whereas on the other models, you can only run about two at a time. And that's because essential app widgets are generally resource intensive. So to ensure that you get a smooth experience on all the phones, they have this limitation at the moment. Now talking about smoothness, nothing has definitely improved the animation slightly. It feels a little more fluid now when you're opening and closing apps or opening and closing widgets. Although it's still nowhere near the level of what Oxygen OS 15, Color OS 15 have achieved because you do not get parallel animations. And finally, to close the visual and animations, you know, part of this video, I must say that nothing did something that most other operating systems don't. They actually added a feature which makes your older nothing phone faster with a new software update. Generally, when a new software update drops, you know that phones get slower, right? But not if you have a phone to phone to a or a phone to a plus, because once you head into settings, apps and app optimization, you will notice that you can actually improve the startup speeds, which means that it can get more fluid with nothing OS 4. I like this approach. Now that we're done with the the visual changes. Let's talk about a few new features and by few, I mean very, very few because currently it's threadbare. The first new feature that stands out is definitely the pop-up view, which gives you like two floating app icons. It's a pop-up window thing, which we've seen on many operating systems before, obviously. Now you can have an app running and a pop-up window on top of it. At one time, you can only see one pop-up window, but you can have two pop-up icons open and then you can switch between them. Now with nothing OS 4, you're also expected to get a better photography experience with an upgraded camera and a smarter gallery, which will give you more controls and creative presets. But at the moment, it's not available in the current beta, which will come later. But what is currently available in the camera app is a new stretch camera preset. And this is by the very famous photographer, Jordan Hemingway. And it's a very stark look that is very creative, if you ask me. So basically, when you compare the standard photo to the stretch preset photo, it pushes the shadows really deep and the highlights very, very high as well. It's a very stark, very contrast heavy look. And in certain situations, you can take photos that look like this. It looks very impressive, but you have to be very careful of how you use the preset. It's a creative tool at the end of the day. By the way, there are also a lot of invisible features that you won't be able to see, but you will be able to experience when you use the phone. For example, the lock screen is actually kind of smoother now along with the AOD as well. So when that transition happens, it looks smoother. You also do get a better brightness control and nothing claims that, you know, you get better Bluetooth and Wi-Fi stability as well. Now, the biggest philosophical change with the Nothing OS 4 is that nothing is moving towards and embracing the AI, you know, future of tomorrow with smartphones. 
phones and it's doing that with essential space so essential space you guys are already aware of it you can create memories and you know it collates all of that information and creates data for you and does sorting and gives you summaries all of those things but there's a new addition which gives you a clear idea of which large language model you're using and how much of it you're using basically you have to open the settings app go to intelligence toolkit and once you do that you will see an ai usage dashboard now this is definitely useful to figure out you know your usage of artificial intelligence but i would rather have that running in the background and not bother me what matters is what can the ai do for you and in that sense i don't feel like nothing has done enough i think you know Samsung with Galaxy AI or Google's Gemini features are a little more user specific. I feel like nothing needs to move in that direction. But the direction that nothing has taken and some other brands have not is the creator led community for building, you know, creative tools around the nothing phone itself. For example, there are a bunch of essential apps uh, for your home screen that look really, really cool. There are a couple that we found really interesting. There's one that uh, shows the F1 schedules for you. Like if you're an F1 fan, that could be useful. There's a mini calculator. There's also this very fun Wakachu game. And there's also one that helps you improve your water intake and of course for the nothing phone 3 you have a bunch of glyph toys for example music visualizer data usage tracker and pomodoro timer as well but the coolest aspect has to be the camera presets that are available there are a bunch of cool camera presets that you can try out all right so that's it for nothing os 4 it's not like a major upgrade but let me now tell you which all phones are going to get it so open beta right now is available on the phone 3 phone 2 phone 2a and phone 2a plus Interestingly, it's not available for the phone 3A and the 3A Pro right now. Now, this is currently the testing phase. So the full stable rollout plan, you should get it really soon. But yeah, uh, I mean, if you want to try it out, you can, but I would suggest against it, like I said at the start. So nothing OS 4.0 overall, if you look at it, minor changes, interesting changes. What do you guys think? Uh, I feel like this is it. I mean, there could have been more, but this is too soon to judge. We will also continue tracking the progress of nothing OS 4 and giving you more updates as you know it. All right, that's it from me for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.